With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello dear students. Here the statement one is a dimensionless quantity may have a unit and statement number two is a constant may not be unitless. So to understand the statement number one, let us consider an example of angular displacement. We know that angular displacement is the ratio of length of arc to that of radius vector and we know that the length of arc is measured in meter and radius is also measured in meter so meter meter will get cancelled it means angular displacement has dimension L0, M0, T0 it means angular displac displacement is a dimensionless quantity but it has unit the SI unit of angular displacement is radian it means a dimensionless quantity may have a unit this statement is true now in the second statement it is stated that a constant may not be unitless so to prove this we'll consider an example of restoring force we know that restoring force f is directly proportional to displacement of the particle measured from mean position and here f is equal to minus kx so f is equal to in magnitude in magnitude f is equal to kx where k is restoring force constant and here k is equal to f divided by x so the unit of k is newton per meter it means a constant may not be unitless or dimensionless so here statement number two is also true but statement two does not correctly explain the statement one it means our option number two is correct that is statement one is true statement two is also true but statement two is not a correct explanation of statement one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today